Sampo and welcome to Do You Know Your Child? I'm Tony, your host. Co-parenting is a great challenge and a huge responsibility. The truth is, good parenting consists of a great deal of trial and error. As parents, we will make many mistakes along the way. We'll learn from each mistake and move forward. In our last show, our participants made some commitments. Let's see how well they're doing. Actually, like I realized right after I had answered that um, we had forgotten our stickers for a while. <laughs> uh, <yes. laughs> this is our sticker chart and we have our names here. So this is my husband's name and this is my name. And these are the two stickers. And from looking at this chart, you can see that um, the girls have been doing really well and getting rewarded most of the time for each good deed they do, like maybe finishing their food, finishing all their food, or being kind to each other, or sharing things with each other. So they get stickers before they go to bed. I gave her this sticker because she helped us in our exams and in our projects. And if you look closely, we also have the height measurement. This is Jitin's side and she's earned all the stickers. And this is Sonam Youngdin's and this is how she's grown over the years. And these are all the stickers she has earned. Our children look at us for guidance and support from infancy to adulthood. Providing consistent guidance is important to their happiness and well-being. We want to give our children every opportunity to be happy and succeed in their lives. Let's see which family we have today. This is my favorite song. It's One Direction, What Makes It Beautiful. Mm. After Planet Go. My name is uh, Andy Mongar. I work in Truk School and I have two children. This is my house. And if you see around this, you will see a lot of pictures posted. These are all done by my kids. Uh, she's my wife and she does all the household work and she's uh, in fact my home minister. Uh, this is what she does when she has uh, extra time. She does her pruning, gardening, digging, uh, putting manure and she has a lot of flowers around here and I don't know the names, but she knows all the names of these flowers. So maybe, what's the name of you, Kiv? Begonia. And yellow begonia, Jerinia, begonia, I don't know. you've got that one thing. He's my son. So, uh, his name is Suzal Mangar. He's eight years old. He studies in class four in Druki school. Let's welcome our first participant, Mr. Monger, and ask his son later the same questions and tally their answers. Welcome to our show, Ola. I'd like to begin with our first question, and that is, do you know your child? Well, yes, I do know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what type of questions you ask. Okay, all right. It, it actually really depends on the type okay. of questions. And we're not here <clears throat> to judge anyone, but regardless of your score, just the fact that you're a parent okay. makes you a responsible person. You don't have to do really well in these. Let me explain to you the rules. I'll be asking you 10 questions about your son and later on I'll have your son come here and the next 10, um, the same 10 questions to him and then later we'll tally it and then for every correct answer that you give, <coughs> you'll get a point. So Hope I'll get 100 out of 100. <laughs> <laughs> well, this will be 10 out of 10 if you do really okay. well, which is 100% of course. So the rules are clear to you? Fine. Are yes. you ready? Yes, ready. Okay, but before that, tell me something about your son, something very interesting. He likes to play football mm. more. He's, uh, and half the time he'll be playing and half the time he'll be studying. I see. And he listens to the parents. Mm. He doesn't give much up, uh, trouble to the parents. I see. You said he likes playing soccer, right? Uh, football. Um, 
Are you there playing with him or are you just watching? I do go with him sometimes. I just uh, participate with him <laughs> once or twice. Okay. And sometimes he goes with his brother and sometimes he goes with his uh, friends. Mm -hmm. I see with um, kids these days, um, we are not allowed to use the rod or the spanking. I, this is just a tip maybe for some of our viewers <coughs> out here uh, who would like to know how to um, train a child. <laughs> But I think that you don't have to cane or use a stick to mm. mold the child. I think the positive reinforcement, uh, reinforcement is a must for the child. You always do the positive, then they always listen to you. That's okay. what I do with my son. Okay, so for you, it, it is as simple as giving po po positive, positive. Uh, reinforcement. Yes. All right, okay, if you are watching this show, please keep this in mind, positive reinforcement. Okay, with this, let's go on to our questions here. Are you okay, ready? Ready. Does your son share his toys with his siblings? Sometimes they don't share their things. Mm. Like, for example, take you and me, mm. and if I have a very good toy here, and if you like to play that, you don't have it. Mm. And if you ask me, then if I say, no, you can't toss my things, mm. I think that's too rude. Mm. So you should know how to share so things. So you have yeah, told yes. your son that? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, Question number two, what do you do if he fails in his exam? If I think that okay. uh, he is not capable of for the next level, level mm. then I purposely keep him. And I advise him that you are not ready for the next lesson. And uh, is there any kind of punishment? Usually when he gets through the exam, he asks me to buy the toys and all, oh. maybe that one. Or others, I would say, you have need to work hard. Mm. Why did you fail? Because you didn't study. So okay. I make him do that. All right. So he, so he won't get his favorite toys after exams? Uh, maybe. Just maybe once or twice? <laughs> once. Not all the time. Oh, not okay. all the time. And then there is the positive reinforcement. Yeah, always. I always do that. Okay. All right. Great. What if he makes a mistake? What happens? I'm thinking of an example whereby he um, forgets to do his homework. He mm -hmm. gets a letter from his teacher saying he didn't do his homework. Let's consider that mm -hmm. as his mistake. Um, what happens then? Okay. Then he has to give me the reason why. Yeah. Maybe he forgot. Then I'll tell him not to do, uh -huh. not to forget. Every as soon as he reaches home, you have to open the book, see the diary, what is written in the diary, mm -hmm. check whether you have homework or not, do it. First question you ask him is why? Why? You want to hear his side of the story? Yes. Okay. So there's no um, uh, time out, no grounding. No. It's always wait. talking. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. Um, question number four. Do you have rules at home? So I do have rules at home. Like he don't bring too many friends mm. because you'll make the house dirty. Mm. Question number five. What household chores does he do? He usually helps his mom. Okay. And like cleaning, uh, the sweeping the floor. Okay. Washing the window pans. Mm. And then sometimes even he makes tea for us. Oh, wow. Uh, he knows how to make tea. And his mom has taught that? Yes. Okay. Is he interested in yeah, he is learning? Yeah, he is very much interested to do all these things. Okay. But sometimes he's lazy also. What are some of these chores that you've listed down that he has to, has to do regardless of how he's feeling? After eating, at mm -hmm. least his place more, he has to take it to the kitchen and keep okay. it there. But uh, other things, he likes doing it. when he's when in He mood. does it when he likes doing yes. it. Yes. Okay, all right. Um, question number six. Who is your son more close to? Me, I think. Okay, all right. He's more close to me. I hope you don't get disappointed later. No. He says another answer. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, question number seven. Who attends all his parents' teacher meeting at school? Myself. Okay, all right. Because you're a teacher there. I'm always there. <laughs> but sometimes I do invite his mom uh, also. Yeah, I think yeah. that's important. Yeah, she goes. Yeah. She goes. Well, okay, tell me why do you think it's important for um, your spouse to be there? My wife should also know how mm. he's doing in the mm -hmm. class. He should hear from the class teacher yeah. what is he doing. I think this is just a good reminder for um, all the parents out there, of course, that um, it is not just enough to have one parent be informed about the child. So I think both the parents are, I mean, of course, it's really hard to get 100% from all the parents, both the parents, just because sometimes um, the dad's working too much or the mom's working too much. So uh, we have to um, make do with whatever we have. Mm -hmm. But if we can, it is very important for both the parents to be there. There are some parents uh, who comes both in the yeah, school, yeah. in our school. And so, as, a teacher, yeah, as a teacher, let's say, as a teacher, you think that's better, right? Yes. As a parent, too. 
Yes, okay. yes or no. Yeah, I agree. Question number eight. Okay. What is his favorite sport? Football. Football, okay. Question number nine. Who is his class teacher? Miss uh, Dichin Dolma Dorji. Okay, Miss Dichin Dolma Dorji. All right. A final question here. Who is his best friend? I think uh, this is a tough question for me. I don't know. He has <laughs> a lot of friends now. Mm. His best friend would be uh, in the school, maybe Pema Namge. And also he has his own class, few friends, I don't know really his name. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll have Pema Namge. Let me ask you, how do you think you've done? I hope I've done 99% correctly. 99%. Okay, that's very hopeful. That's very good. Okay, we'll now have your son here. Thank and then you. we'll ask the same 10 questions to him. You'll be sitting here, okay. so you'll hear what his answers okay. are. Okay? Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> um, do you want to introduce yourself to the, all the viewers out there? Yes. Okay, go ahead. My name is Sujal. I'm class 4. I study in Druk school. I came with my daddy. Okay, you came with your dad. All right. Um, why didn't you come with your mom? Because she's busy. She's really busy. Okay, yeah. so that, that, thanks to your dad, right? Are you excited to be here? Yes. All right. Sujal, what I did was ask your dad 10 questions about you. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you 10 questions about yourself, the question okay. to you. And you're going to give me all the answers. And then we're going to match it with your dad's. And then for every correct answer that your dad has given, he'll get a point. Mm -hmm. And since we have 10 questions here, it'll be out of 10. Do you think your dad would know a lot about you, all these 10 questions here? Yes. You think so? <laughs> okay, all right. All right, are you ready then? Yes. Okay. Question number one. Do you share your toys with your siblings? Siblings as in cousins, it can be family uh, members well, yes. or friends. Yes. Who taught you about sharing? Father. Your father, okay. Yes. Why do you think it's important to share? I mean... If I don't want to share, you can get your own stuff, I can get my own stuff, your dad will get his own stuff. Why do you have to share? Because we, we need to have some disciplines. Why do you think we need discipline? Discipline, I think, is so boring. It bounds you to do something. Like, discipline is like, don't do this, don't do that. If there's no discipline, hooray, we get to play everywhere we want. <laughs> Why do we need disciplines? Um, to be a good person. You seem to be a very good person. So you're saying you do share your toys with your yes. friends and siblings, right? Okay. Question number two. What happens if you fail in your exam? Mm -hmm. well, let's say you get a report card that says, oops, you got um, 39 in um, math. I'll get sad. You'll get sad. And then you'll show your report card to your dad. What happens then? He's, he'll scold me. He'll scold me. How, how, tell me, how, how does he scold you? Mm. Give me an example. He would tell that, why didn't you study? Oh, he does ask why. Yes. He'll ask you, why didn't you study? Yes. Okay, then what happens? If you want to study, study. And do not, do, next time don't fail in exams. Okay, and then you listen to that? Yes. Does it seep into your head? Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. You sound like a very easy kid. That's really good. Question number three. What if you make a mistake? What happens? Let me give you an example. The push. Um, let's say you end up fighting in your class. Okay? okay. What does mom and dad do to you? Uh, uh, mom, mom and dad tells, why did you fight with others? Okay, why again? Why do you think your dad asks why? Why, why, why all the time? Why? Because when we do mistakes, we, it comes in why only. <laughs> oh, you have a very smart kid. <laughs> okay, let's say I ask why to you. What happens then? Why mm. did you fight? Then what do we find out? Mm, we found that, find out that something is wrong. Okay, something is wrong. We understand why it is wrong. Yes. And then when we know why it is wrong, it gives us the opportunity to change it, right? Yes. So now you know why your dad says why, why, why all the time? Yes. Okay, all right, great. <laughs> Question number four. Do you have rules at home? Yes. Okay, yes. What kind of rules do you have? Mm -hmm. uh, do not spit on the floor. Okay. And then? Don't be careless. Don't be careless, okay. What about eating? Let's talk about eating. The push. Okay. Um, when you eat, do you have any rules? Yeah. Yes, okay, okay. Do not drop the foods. 
Okay, don't spill your food or dro- drop your food as much. Oh, uh, okay. And? Then, eat properly. Eat properly, okay. After, fin- after you finish eating, then? Are there any rules? No, ma'am. No? You go, hip hip hooray, no rules. Yes, ma'am. I've been doing this hip hip hooray for so long. <laughs> okay, um, but you say, my question is, do you have rules at home? And you said? Yes. Yes, okay, I'll record that as, as your answer, all right? Question number five. What household chores do you do? You un- Do you know the meaning of the word chores? No, it's C H O R E, okay? Chore. Then the plural of it is chores. So, my question is what household chores do you do? Chores is any work that you do at home, like oh. sweeping the floor or cooking, I, cleaning. So, tell me what I help you. my mother. You help your mother? Yes. <laughs> and then, how do you help your mother? Tell me. Mm, by washing plates okay washing and, clothes uh-huh. and sweeping house you sweep the floor and anything else and i mop the you mop the floor too yes. okay wow okay you seem very very helpful question number six who are you more close to mom or dad dad okay question number seven who attends all your parents teacher meetings dad dad okay has there ever been a time where um, your mom came for your parent-teacher meeting? No. No, she never came? No. Are you sure? Yes. 100% sure? Yes. But my question was, who attends all your parent-teacher meeting and you said mostly your, da- uh, I mean, your dad? Okay. Question number eight. What is your favorite sport? Football. Football, okay. Who's, who's your f- uh, favorite football player? Uh, Neymar. I'm sorry, I don't watch football. <laughs> so, um... Who, who does he play for? Brazil. Brazil. And when you see a man play football, do you, do you pick up some, um, do you recognize some skills that he's using? Some yes. different techniques you do? Yeah. Anyways, we'll move on then. Question number nine. Who is your class teacher? Ma'am Dishan Dorma Doji. Okay. Question number ten. This is your final question, all right? Who is your best friend? My best friend is Pema Namge. Pema Namge. Okay, all right. Well, my dear Sujo, Thank you so much. You have given all the answers. And now, I think your dad should be the one sweating because we're going to tally your answer and his answers. Okay. And then see um, how he has done, okay? How do you think he would have done? <coughs> do you think he knows the answers to all these questions? Yes. Okay, you talk to him quite often? Yes. Okay, all right. What about you? You've heard his answers. Yeah. So, uh, after hearing, I think one or two. I mm. be, must be wrong. Okay, are you both excited to look at the scores now? I think. Yes. <laughs> are you? Okay, fingers crossed now. <laughs> does your son share his toys with his siblings? He does. He does. Yes. What do you do if he fails in his exam? I advise him. He'll scold me. What if he makes a mistake? What happens? Then he has to give me the reason why. When we do mistakes, it comes in why only. Do you have rules at home? So I do have rules. Yes. What household chores does he do? He usually helps his mom. I help my mother. is your son more close to? Me. Dad. Who attends all his parents' teacher meeting at school? My son. Dad. What is his favorite sport? Football. Football. Who is his class teacher? Miss uh, Dichen Dorma Doji. Ma'am Dichen Dorma Doji. Who is his best friend? Pema Namge. Pema Namge. All right, we now have your scores and your score is 9 out of 10. 
Do you think that's a... Okay, I want to ask you. Do you think that's a good score? Yes. 9 out of 10. And what about you? It's a 90% correct. I know, right? 90% correct. That's great. It's actually, I would say, 9.5. Because both of you had the same answer, but the terminology, I think it's a problem with the terms. Your dad says, for question number two, um, if you don't do well in your exam, he would um, advise... He would get give positive reinforcement, and uh, then you said he will scold me. But I asked him further about how he how you scold him, and then he says he'll ask me why. So because of that, because of just the terms, because I I understand the content is the same thing. You guys explained the same. Mm -hmm. um, you get, guys gave me the same answer, <laughs> other than the term. For me, it is like uh, if I ask a question, why did you fail? He needs to realize that he didn't study mm. because of that. So next time he needs to study. Mm. So that's the point. True. So uh, maybe there is a little confusion between the terms. And this is not the first time that has happened. Mm -hmm. We've had this happen before on the show too, mm -hmm. where um, the dad says, I talked to her. I think she, he said, uh, I talked to her. And then um, the kid says, my dad scolds me. So, um, it's just the term. Sometimes there is a huge difference between scolding, advising, talking, yes. suggesting, recommending, these are all, they sound similar, okay? They sound similar, but they're actually really different. Your dad would know that. Dukush, maybe because you're younger right now, you don't really understand the difference, but the scold, word scold has a negative meaning to it. Dukush, and, um, but I, I asked you further, right? Saying, how does he scold you? And you said, he just asks me why, get better marks next time, right? So just looking at this confusion here, are there any sorts of changes or commitments or any realization that you've felt right now? From here after maybe any uh, good work he does, mm -hmm. I think I need to reward him. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe fulfill his uh, desire, mm -hmm. whatever he wants. Some, but he does. He's a very good boy. He doesn't mm -hmm. ask too much. So now on, you're saying if he does anything good, you'll give him something. Um, like quantitative, yes. not just verbal, because yes. I mean, for them, yes, yes, I think I need to can, give him. It's better for them to show saying, My dad gave me this because yes. I shared my book with my friend. And your dad says you committed to him yesterday, was it? Yeah. Saying that uh, you will get above 80. Do you think you can do that? Yes, okay, all right. Well, good luck for that. Just to thank you, I have a shiny little thing for you here. I don't have anything for you. No <laughs> but That's more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And Thank I really you appreciate much. you taking the time because, I mean, the purpose of this show mainly is to promote communication. And let's say you don't talk hereafter or you don't communicate as well. But here's an arena where you sit down and talk with your son with someone else. I think that itself is an opening, yes. right? Yes. All right. Thank you so much again. I really can't um, thank you guys enough for coming here. I had a fun time. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to come here in this uh, good platform here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Teaching them to share from a very young age will help them to be giving and unselfish adults later. Start with sharing their toys with their brothers and sisters. This will teach them to share their time and talents with others as adults next time. Come back next week and if you would like to be a part of the show or if you have any suggestions or feedback, please call us at 179-22848 or 1761-7771 or mail us at parenting at bbs.pt. Bye bye and see you soon.